NCAA football. Grand Forks is the place to be tonight for a primetime top 25 FCS showdown as the 23rd ranked North Dakota Fighting Hawks take on their former Big Sky rivals and reigning national runners up, the fourth ranked Monsanto Grizzlies. It is great to have you with us at the start of year. Have been where the Fighting Hawks want to go, and that quest for Texas begins again here tonight. And Silvernail sends the opening kickoff out of bounds. He did that at Ames. So that will stare in on the back end and up front with twisting. Third and 15 as this crowd comes to life. Pressure again. Ayat will find his man out in the flat. That is the Arizona transfer. And interceptions. Gradney had a pick in each of the first four games last year. He had one in the playoffs as well. Nate DeMontanac, the intended target on third and long through the hands of the young man from Mississauga. In space, you know, three, three, three straight passes for North Dakota there, kind of uh, off script for what they would normally do. Luke Silvernair on the punter. Drew Deck back to receive. Fair catch made at the 44-yard line. It's brought to you by Altru, and it's an experienced offensive line. Brandon Casey, the right tackle, a preseason all-conference pick in the big sky. The skill guys all dangerous, including this man with the football. That's Nick Osmo, the grad student. One against a team like Montana is there's so much skill on the field. You know, you can't just focus on one area. They've got playmakers everywhere. Here's one of them, Xavier Harris, open, making the grab for a gain of eight. Three of the five team captains at backer this season. Wyatt Pedigo, Malachi McNeil, and Josh Navratil as Ayat eludes the pressure and finds his man. Touchdown, Montana! Xavier Harris finding pay dirt. Fantastic improvisation from the redshirt freshman quarterback, and it's the Grizz who strike first. Oh, that's what having a mobile quarterback can do for you. Pressure's there. Sack should happen. Escapes and then looks downfield. And by this time, the secondary for North Dakota has thought that the sack has happened. Wide open. And another missed tackle right there for a touchdown for Montana. Again, goes back to having so much skill on the field. The Grizzlies are loaded with talent. Morrison's extra point is Rumpo. It is his first career start in this building. First quarterback not named Tommy Schuster to get a start in this Alara Center facility since 2019 as Sawyer Seidel bounces it outside. Balance. Henry Newsom, Riley Wilson in on the stop. Wilson missed last week. He's an All-American at the linebacker position as Gavin Seabarth finds space up the middle out to the 35-yard line. Tyrell, one of the leaders on defense for the Grizz, barking out the signals. Third down and four. Isaiah Smith gets his first handoff for the game, and he's going nowhere. A loss on the play. That was Krishan and stays on the field. It would be a 47-yard attempt from C.J. Elrich. Rumpo to throw for it. Well read by the Monsanto defense. Great pressure in the backfield. That was Riley Wilson, one of the top sack artists in the Big Sky last year. He's dangerous. He led this team in rushing as a freshman. With this man, though, now it's harder to get carries, and it's Eli Gilman, the reigning FCS freshman of the year. Touchdown, Montana. One of the top running backs in the college game from nearby Dassel, Minnesota, breaking things wide open and doubling the Grizz advantage. Well, we said in our, our, our pregame, Alex, you've got to know where 10's at. And, and this is why. You know, if he's even got a little bit of room, he's going to be gone. Ex extremely special player, and you can see right there, and you, you've got to understand where he's at at all times. Expected the entire town of Dassel to be in attendance. We know for sure that Eli's parents are here, as well as a lot of other folks from that community. North Dakota looking to respond now. Here's a good way to get things going. The pass in the flat caught by Corey Ty. First completion of the game for the redshirt junior quarterback. Isaiah Smith on the read play, able to spin away from the initial hit. And another first down for the Fighting Hawks offense inside Grizz territory. Second possession in a row that UND has driven across midfield. That's Ty in motion. 
Rumpo will keep this time. Caught by Belquist. Nice pitch and catch to one of Eugene's all time. With Smith in the pistol behind Rumpo. Isaiah Smith. Look at the young man go. Isaiah Smith into the end zone for the touchdown. A spectacular run for the Minneapolis native and this crowd right back in it. Well, that was what North Dakota needed to do. They needed to answer. And again, they brought everybody in. So all the defenders were on the inside. We're on the play that designed to go out. Good job by Isaiah Smith to get to the outside. Much needed. Elrich on to add the point after. And just like that, we're back to a one score ball game. With Multiple backs that they really feel like they can be successful with. And such a luxury to have to be able to get fresh bodies in there. Be able to run the football and have some success. Jack Osmo again finding the second level. Tyler Erkman, the redshirt freshman. Wendy. Osmo gets a breather. Gilman back on. Grizzlies need the 26 yard line. Ayats, a little wiggle at the line of scrimmage, and he's going to have enough to move the chains. A designed quarterback keeper that I. That's exactly what you want. That's a great job by Montana. Getting the ball all quick. The Grizzlies now inside the Hugo's red zone. They try the razzle dazzle. It's Aaron Fonts around the edge. Touchdown, Montana. Aaron Fonts, the senior receiver from California. Great blocking around the outside for the Grizzlies. And a great response by the visiting offense. Well, a great play design. You've got everybody pulling one direction. Bring the tight end across to wrap around and get that block. And just great disguising by the offensive line by Montana. Great play design. 240 pound tight ends. Looks like he was flashing across the line of scrimmage, then came back to seal off the wall. And Fonts, who is an outstanding receiver, South, the sophomore from Maple Grove, one of a number of fullback tight end hybrids that they'll employ today. Rumfo trying to find Belquist, and now the flag comes. He was blanketed by Ronald Jackson. Is right now for uh, month for Montana. And they have this North Dakota offense backed up. Third down and 12 for Simon Runfo to start the second quarter. They'll take a shot now in the direction of Caden Dennis. The coverage was there. Gordon, the Fresno State transfer. Uh, of making that play on the outside on the big side of the field there. Jamal Dixon with the stop. The Grizz, though, able to move the chains on second and long. Catch secured by Eric Barker, one of a couple of best players on the field tonight. And that's where that leadership really has to come in. Grizz need the 43-yard line. They're going to get it here. Another ball secured over the middle by Bar Blitz coming. Ayat on the rollout. Kealii Ayat stops. That second effort got him very close to the yards again. Oh, Osmo going no place. Great penetration by this Fighting Hawks defense. Jack Barrett's and company getting home to force the turnover on downs. Well, that's the, the you know, they're, they're, there's always that risk, and I know you got confidence in your tight ends more known for their blocking. Norby definitely in that category. Just five receptions a season ago. Rumpho now taking a shot, and this is intercepted. A ball lofted that is picked off by Jace Kluswich. Diamond Rumpho while he was throwing the ball, and this is just lofted up for grabs here for Montana. And right away, the ball is given back to, to Montana on that. And the pressure was there. But good defense by the Grizz. Change of quarterback now. We see Logan Fife in there for the first time in his first act is to hand the football off. Eli Gilman, a gain of nine out to the 38. A matchup. Third and three. Fife. He's got the first down and more. Logan Fife stepped out of bounds. He was trying to tiptoe down the Grizzlies sideline. See Lance Rucker, another sophomore from Omaha. A lot of depth at linebacker for this North Dakota squad. 
Third and ten. Blitz coming. Five goes down in the backfields. The big man in on the offensive fronts. They held their own last week against Iowa State. Here's Rumfo. Belquist. First down. Great second efforts to drive forward for the fifth year senior. Rumfo on first and ten. Quick hitter caught by Belquist behind the line of scrimmage. Near the first down for the preseason All-American. No four to keep the drive alive. Just ahead of the two-minute timeout, Rumpo takes the snap. And that ball sailed on him a bit. Caden Dennis was the intended target. Gordon was there on the coverage. We will step away for a moment. Two-minute timeout here at the Alaris. Gain of seven. Two-minute offense now for the Grizz. Ayat with time. Another grab across the middle. That is Sawyer Racanelli. The Red Racanelli, one for seven, one for 13. Racanelli again. No catches for Racanelli last week, 10 a season ago. After coming from the same hometown, by the way, as former Olympic decathlon gold medalist Brian Clay. Third down and short, the screen. First down and more for Keelan White into North Dakota territory. 39 seconds to go in the half, third and 10. Blitz coming. Ayat looking deep. Foss, his man is there, and the flag will come out. A lot of contact between Jamal Dixon and Aaron as they look to punch in one more score before the half. Ayat's pass juggles. And caught along the sideline, Xavier Harris. There is a flag in the backfield. Great job by Harris, who has a touchdown today to secure that catch just in front of the sideline. Well, he really looked like that ball was bobbling, but he must have come down with that before he went out of bounds. Great play if he was able to secure that before he went out. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 50. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Well, that is a killer. Riley Gerhardt, the Valley City State transfer. Oh, well behind, or well after, excuse me, the ball left his hand. Oh, and there he is. For the Grizzlies. Ayat across the middle. Good short tackle that time. It was Fonts who made the grab. Jai Martin came up on the stop. The West Virginia State transfer. Tyson's at College of the Canyons. He's got a big leg. And he has an accurate one as well as that ball splits the uprights from 30 yards out. He remains perfect on field goals for the season. And that is how the first half comes to a close. It is the fourth ranked Montana Grizzlies, 24, the 23rd ranked North Dakota Fighting Hawks. They would love a little better field position than they saw in the first half, and it'll start now on this kickoff, which Glasgow does send into the end zone. So we'll see what. Can in six. Rumpfo. Eluding the rush, he will tuck and run. This is what he does best. Rumpho, a big shot at the end of that play. Ryder Meyer, the experienced safety, the Grizz. Picked up four yards, and that's staying with the script. That's staying with the chains, what you need, and then sit. So we were able to cut through there and pick up another first down for North Dakota. Good start to the second half for UND. Saddle of the former setback on third and one. Will patiently work his way to the 21 yard line enough to move the chains. Gain of six sets up third and three now. Big play in this football game. Smith the tailback. That's Belquist in motion. Rumpfo looking end zone. And the flag does come out that time. Tight coverage by Gordon, the safety. They were looking the way of Nick for North Dakota to find pay dirt. First and goal from the two. Zebarth up and over and in! Touchdown, North Dakota!
First touchdown of the year for the pride of Cambridge, Minnesota. And a big one, Ryan, right here. Uh, Coach Schweiger talked about how important this first drive was. About as perfect as it could go for North Dakota. You come down, you mark. Newberger, the long snapper. The extra point up and through. The Ali'i Ayat needs the 28 to move the chains. Deep shot down the field. Reconelli couldn't make the grab. Devin Hembry, the most experienced cornerback on this Fighting Hawks team. Second and a long send. DeMontanac on the quick out. Nate DeMontanac able to wriggle free. Jackson that time caught in the spin cycle. Rumpfo able to improvise. Simon Rumpfo, touchdown North Dakota! A 19-yard scramble. Do what you do best. Hand, get the ball back there. Let him run. He's a playmaker. He's got speed. He's got agility. You see right there. And then does the rest. Carries the guys into the end zone. Another touchdown. For does best. And we got ourselves a game. 24-21. Number 23. UND. Right back in the. Kaylee Ayotz. Under pressure again, Maverick Hill! Jack Tyke back there as well! Back-to-back -back sacks for the Fighting Hawks! Another three and outs! Third and three on the way. UND needs the 41 to keep the drive going. Smith, he'll bounce this outside. Great move that time to get the first down. The stop and start and spin for Isaiah Smith all the way out. In this third quarter, North Dakota trailing by three. Rumpho on the rollouts. Simon Rumpho again making magic happen. A pickup of 11 and another first down for the Fighting Hawks. This is when he's at his best. It certainly. Zebarth. Another first down on the ground for North Dakota. Third quarter, back-to-back -back three and outs by this Fighting Hawks defense. And the offense has done the rest. They are faced with a third and one. Zebarth, good push up front. Right back into the red zone. Rumpho. Caden Dennis with the grab, able to knife just in front of Jackson. He is right at the six, another first down, a gain of seven for UND. It's team on it, so North Dakota knows they're going to have that quick hitter. Rumpho now five of eight in the second half, 53 yards on the ground and a rushing touchdown. First and goal, Gavin C. Barth. Across the five to the four-yard line, kid. It's second down and goal now for North Dakota from the four after that Zebarth run. Gavin Zebarth gets it again. Good short tackling on the edge. We've said his name a lot today. Krishan Gordon punched in tight. Zebarth, the call again. Stops two yards shy of the goal line. Good defensive stand by the Grizzlies down in the shadow of their own goal posts. And now decision time. The sophomore from Olathe, Kansas. Four of six a season ago, one of two last week at Iowa State. Good snap, good holds. And the field goal is good, and we are tied at 24. Fife on the rollout. The catch by Racanelli, shy of the yards again, and incomplete in the end anyway. On the way, North Dakota four of nine on third down today, going up against one of the best third down defenses in the nation. Rumpfo will keep it himself and convert across the 45 to the 47 yard line. He went right behind Gavin Zebarth off right tackle that time. This week, Zebarth on third and three. He got wrapped up at the point of attack. Henry Noose was in there.
That momentum, though, got him awfully close to the first down marker. It is going to situations. 6'4", 250 under center. They need half a yard. And Vaughn will get it. North Dakota's version of the brotherly shove able to be effective once more. Long now. UND needs the 32 to keep the drive going. Four and a half minutes left in regulation. Montana brings pressure. Rumpho caught to Montanac. First down, North Dakota. A clutch pitch and catch on third and 11. Backwards. Big third down now. Third and three. Rumpho to throw for it. Belquist skipped it right in front of him. Gradney on the coverage. And now decision time for UND. We saw C.J. Elrich. Elrich with the distance. And it is good. North Dakota in front for the first time today. Fourteen plays, 43 yards. C.J. Elrich money from 40 yards out. Four receivers for the Grizz. Pocket breaks down, and Ayat is stopped. Navratil, Pedigo, the two captains in on the tackle, and it comes for the Grizzlies. They need to convert. Pressure coming. Ayat to keep. He's got the first and more. Kaylee Ayat into North Dakota territory. All the way inside the 30-yard line and making their presence felt. Harris going backwards here. The tunnel screen read to perfection by North Dakota. Fourth and forever on the way is the 55-yard attempt. Fife the holder. Snap down, kick up. It has the distance. It is no good. Wide to the right. Claw their way back, 20 unanswered in the second half, and come out with the victory. A special win for North Dakota today. The final seconds will tick down. The final score will be North Dakota 27, Montana 24. The Hawks knock off the Grizz in the 2024 home opener. In an offseason where all you heard about was questions for North Dakota, who's going to be this, who's going to be the new coordinators, new everything, some of those questions were answered tonight against the number four team in the country in Montana.